Hi folks, this is Steve, the Cardboard Cultist, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at Summoner's Isle, a 2-4 player area control game from Robbie Munn. And in Summoner's Isle, you'll be taking on the role of apprentice summoners, competing to prove you're the most capable summoner by demonstrating your command over your summon creatures, gaining spirit energy, and taking control of Summoner's Isle. So this game is all about getting your creatures out on the board, taking control of key areas of the map, and hitting the 36 victory point check mark. And gameplay takes place over two key phases. First you have the summoners phase, where you'll summon new creatures onto the map. And the currency for summoning creatures is also your victory points, which creates a really nice snowball effect, where you're spending VPs, aiming to gain more VPs. The second phase of the game is the action phase, where you'll move your creatures into position, or attack your opponents and try and disrupt their plans. So back to the summoners phase. Each player, in turn order, will start by summoning their largest summon, the worm. And this creature is going to make a real mess of your opponents, and it's going to be your key summon for taking out the enemy. After each player has had the opportunity to summon their worm, again, in turn order, they'll summon their trolls. Each player can have a maximum of three trolls on the board, and these represent your more versatile summons. They have more action points than other summons, so they can get around the board nicely, and they're also tough enough to take out even the most well-defended summons. Finally, each player will get the chance to summon their sprites, and these are your most basic troops, and these are what you'll be using to hold those valuable areas. Sprites don't have much strength when attacking, but thanks to their defensive bonus when supported by other sprites, and the sheer number that you can summon, sprites represent your best summon for locking down target areas. Now remember, since you're spending your victory points to bring these summons onto the board, you really need to make sure you're getting the most out of them, and you don't want to be losing them too easily, so positioning and turn order is going to be key. So after the summoning phase is complete, we move on to the action phase, where again, in turn order, players will activate each of their summons and use the action points of the specific summon to move and attack. And this is the phase where you'll be maneuvering your summons to lock down areas or punch holes in the enemy's defense. Attacking in Summoner's Isle is nice and simple. Simply pick an adjacent enemy to target with your attack, roll a d6 and add your attack modifier, and then compare that to the target enemy's defense. If you meet or exceed it, that enemy is removed and you move into that space. Now in this playthrough, you might notice that we're not moving into the defender's location after a successful attack. And this is just a rules error that slipped us by in our first few playthroughs. In terms of strategy, moving into the defender's location after a successful attack does mean you'll have a few more opportunities to really get into the heart of the enemy's defense. But for the purposes of this video and understanding the ebb and flow of the game, it's really not too important. So after the action phase is complete, Players will gain VPs based on the areas they control, and then depending on where they are on the VP track, they'll either gain or lose additional VPs. And this continues until either someone reaches 36 victory points, or 9 rounds are complete. Overall, Summoner's Isle is a tight, small box, area control game that revolves around some simple mechanics. It plays in under an hour, and there's enough strategic and tactical decision making to keep things interesting. It's going to be heading to Kickstarter soon, so if it looks like your type of game, make sure you check it out. But as always, take care and thanks for watching.